Hallelujah. Good morning and welcome once again to another edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Today on Men of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome would like to share a message entitled, A Principle for All Men. Today is December the 16th. Our opening verse is from the book of Romans chapter 10 verses 9 to 10 and I read, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It is important to note that the Bible did not say, with the heart Christians believe. Rather, it says, man believes. It's a principle for all men, all human beings, regardless of who they are where they come from, what they have. They can only believe with the heart, the spirit. That's the way to be made righteous. But that's not all. Every man, woman, boy and girl ever born, and they'll ever be born into this world, has already been saved by Jesus Christ. When he died, he died to save all humanity. However, Salvation is only a vital experience in the life of the one who believes and affirms the Lordship of Jesus over his or her life. Upon believing in Jesus, there is the further step of affirming his Lordship. With the mount, confession is made unto salvation. That is the second part of the principle. To receive salvation isn't by your tears or good works. Salvation is a gift from God, as read in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Received by the affirmations, His Word. Hallelujah. Once you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and confess with your mouth that He is Lord over your life, your spirit is reborn instantly through the impartation of eternal life by the Holy Spirit. It is not difficult at all to receive salvation. Some think they have to atone for their sins first, to be made right with God. Your own sacrifice will never suffice. It's not about your good deeds. It's about your faith in Christ's vicarious death and resurrection. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, kindly raise your hand and take this prayer right after me. Dear Father, I thank you for the power of the gospel and your grace for salvation that's poured out upon all flesh. Even now, there's a great harvest of souls into the kingdom as we, your children, proclaim the gospel today all around the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Now, for you to understand today's message even deeper, I recommend that you take some time to study these following scriptures. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you are yet to confess the Lordship of Jesus over your life, Stay till the end of this message as I take you through the prayer of salvation. You are blessed. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com. That's tnimsia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.